Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Kale Sandwich Show. I'm Raj, and I'm D. And today we have a super special guest. Mama Raj. Mama Raj Mama is here. Raj, aka my mom, <laughs> aka Sarah, if you want to know her real name. This is a very healthy and delicious dish, and it's called our rice noodle pizza. This was a recipe that my mom invented when she came home from from a day of work and she was super hungry just grabbed everything anything we had and she came up with this delicious dish and i think it's awesome it's a super easy recipe all you'll need is some greens of your choice so we're just using tomatoes avocado cucumber bell pepper and then we're garnishing it with scallions and cilantro so we have two different types of rice noodles here we have fresh rice noodles and also some dried rice noodles. Feel free to use either one. If you can't find one or the other in the grocery store, you can use either one. So for this recipe, you're also gonna need some sriracha sauce or hoisin sauce. Basically, these are your flavorings. We chose these just because we feel they go best with rice noodles, but if there's any other sauces that you like, maybe sesame oil, maybe um, other favorite hot sauces, feel free to use those as well. Ready to cook, Mom? Yes. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. <laughs> so as we mentioned, we have fresh rice noodles here. So we're using fresh rice noodles in our recipe today. If you do decide to use just a, a dried rice noodle, if you have that in your pantry, we always have this in our pantry for when we make pho and stuff like that. Uh, you can just prepare that according to the package. When you drain it, it will look just like this. How do we begin, Mama We Raj? begin <laughs> with the crepe pan. Don't worry if you don't have a crepe pan. You can uh, can we use a regular pan? Just a regular pan. So. Yeah. Okay. So a if you skillet. don't have if you don't have a crepe pan, you can also use your your biggest uh, frying pan. Um, but of course, if you have a small one, you can use that too. You, you'll just have a smaller pizza. Yeah, you can make them various sizes. So. First, we're going to heat up the pan with medium. Add a little drop of oil. We're going to layer the noodle as thin as you wish. Kind of like a bird's nest. As you can see, the noodles are starting to stick together, but what we're going to want is we're going to want a golden brown crust on each side. So we're ready to flip the Just hold pizza. Just like this. Hold it tight, it's not going to hot. Just slide this one down like this. Mmm, it's good. As you can see, we've got some crisping going on on the top here, and that's what we want on each side. Now it's done after we get it crispy on the next side, and then just flip it to here. So, just put in. Just put on your favorite vegetables and toppings that you like. You could add, you know, tofu, seitan, tempeh, any other vegetables you think of. It doesn't have to be these. Uh, after you've added your vegetables, what are we gonna do, mom? We just add the hoisin sauce. Mm -hmm. Based on what you like. Yeah, as much or as little as you like. And that's it. And if you like it spicy, we're gonna add some sriracha sauce. That's it. So you can use the scissors to cut as you wish. And then... You can use a pizza cutter if you want, but we find that scissors are much easier. I strongly recommend that you guys use hoisin sauce and green onions because it gives it that Peking duck flavor. It's super delicious. You guys have to have this in the recipe. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This is so delicious. When she made it the first time, we were like, where'd you get this recipe from? And she said, I made it up. We were so impressed. It's so easy and it's so healthy. So fresh. All right. All right. Let's dig in. Give it a try. Let's eat it again. I know what it tastes like. <laughs> Mm. So good. The bottom is so crispy, and you have the fresh vegetables on top, and the hoisin sauce and sriracha are a must. Sit down, enjoy by yourself. You don't have to cut with the scissors. Just get a nice and fork and eat it. Thanks for sharing this with us, Mom, and Thank the rest you. of our kale sandwichers. We hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let us know in the comments what you think of the recipe because Mama Raj would love to read your comments. Yeah. Thank you. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like our channel. And we look forward to bringing you another video soon. And as always, we like food. And we're kind of weird. Are you kind of weird? Are you weird, weird Mom? I'm weird, but I love food. That's Jeez. just like us. Just like us. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.